guys, so today we're going to make a really quick, easy face scrub. It's uh, going to be pumpkin, a pumpkin seed oil face scrub. So we're going to start off, it has two ingredients, pumpkin seed oil and baking soda. And then from that point, you can add in uh, the essential oils of your choice. So a little bit about pumpkin oil. It is rich in vitamin E, omega-3, and omega-6 fatty acids. It's got um, really great antioxidant benefits. And so what does this mean for our skin? It means that it's going to help with an, be an anti-aging product. It's going to help increase the firmness of our skin. Uh, pumpkin seed is rich in zinc and vitamin C, which help maintain collagen levels. It's also really great to help fight um, acne. The antioxidants, which comes from a rich source of vitamin E, help to protect the skin from free radical damage, which is one of the main causes of aging. It's going to help encourage cell turnover, which keeps our skin looking youthful and bright and radiant. It also helps to soothe irritation and redness from anything from acne to rashes to eczema. Um, so it's really great for the skin overall. Even if you're not looking for an anti-aging product, it's still a really awesome choice. One thing is that you wanna make sure you store your oil in the fridge because it does go rancid quickly. You wanna use it within six months of purchase. Um, now the, the scrub itself, you can store out of the out of the fridge. We're gonna use it within about two weeks, so it'll be fine to keep in your bathroom. Uh, we're making a really small amount here too, so you can use it probably every other day, every third day, it, once a week. It's kind of up to you. Um, so here's what the pumpkin seed looks like, pumpkin seed oil looks like. It's a really dark, thick, rich, nutty smelling oil, so it smells amazing by itself. Uh, another nice thing about it is that you, it's really rich, but it absorbs really quickly. So it doesn't leave an oily residue on your skin. It'll absorb into the skin really quickly. Now, if you're going to add in essential oils to your scrub, you want to add it into your oil so we can make sure that it's thoroughly combined. You could do something like tea tree. This is Floriana brand um, tea tree. It's organic. This is really great for, uh, it's an antimicrobial, it's wound healing, it helps reduce the appearances of scars, it's really great for acne as well, and it would be great in combination with uh, lavender. And lavender is really great for rounding out um, the scent of a blend, so you could mix it with any of these really. Uh, frankincense, this is also Floriana, and it's organic as well. Uh, frankincense oil promotes the regeneration of healthy skin cells. It um, is really great for reducing fine lines and wrinkles, tone and tightening the overall appearance of the skin. So that one's a really great one for the face or an anti-aging product as well. You could also do something like clary sage. This one is from Plant Therapy. Clary sage is also rich in antioxidants, so it's great for anti-aging, wrinkles, um, it's also anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial, so it helps to cleanse the skin and reduce redness as well. You could also go with something like geranium, which helps to reduce the appearance of scars and, and um, discoloration on the skin. It also helps to uh, facilitate blood circulation below the surface of the skin. It helps your skin look uh, bright and vibrant as well, and it's also antimicrobial. So, I have, to make our scrub, two tablespoons of baking soda in here, and then about three teaspoons of the pumpkin seed oil. And I'm going to add about 12 drops of the frankincense oil. Whatever, you can go up to about a 5% dilution. This is gonna be This is going to be between three and five, but you want the, that's not per oil, that's 
total. So if you're using a combination, you want to still st stick with that max number. And then we're going to give it a quick stir here just to make sure our oils are all mixed together. And then they'll be evenly distributed through our final product. And this is just kind of like if you've seen any of my other scrubs that I've made, I really go by consistency. So if you like a thicker scrub, then by all means use less of your carrier oil. If you like a really thin scrub, use a little bit more of your carrier oil. And we actually are going to need just a tiny bit more. And you're only going to need about half a teaspoon of the scrub when you're using it. And what you want to do is wet your face with warm water and then apply the scrub to your face and then rinse it thoroughly. And then I like to splash a little bit of cold water at the end to just tighten up the pores. And that looks pretty good. So we're gonna use just a tiny bit, like I said, you probably need just a little spoonful like that to get you started. And then now you're saying to yourself, I have this huge bottle of pumpkin seed oil and I only use three teaspoons of it. So a second thing that you can do is get a small bottle like this. This is a one ounce bottle and you can fill this with the pumpkin seed oil and use it as a nighttime moisturizer. You could also experiment a little bit and use maybe three quarters pumpkin seed oil. And you could add in the jojoba oil, which is actually considered a wax, um, but this oil is the closest oil that there is to the oil that your skin produces, which is sebum. So if you feel like you have maybe an overproduction of sebum, um, this oil might be beneficial for you to try. You could also try something like an Aragon oil. You could use a combination of all three, or like I said, just the pumpkin seed oil. Um, and then from that point, you can add in some essential oils as well if you choose, or leave it plain. Uh, I would recommend not trying too many different things to start out with, just so you know what's working and what's not. So if you want to use the same combination that you used in your scrub, that would be a good idea. Or just, like I said, just leave it plain and it's got amazing uh, benefits for your skin. Now this one ounce bottle, if you wanted to choose um, some essential oils to put in, 30 drops would give you a 5% dilution. So that's 30 drops total, not 30 drops each. So if you're using a combination of oils, your total will equal uh, 30 drops. And if you like these recipes and you're looking for more ways to incorporate uh, natural uh, products into your life, I have a new ebook coming out at the beginning of October, which will be available on Amazon called Essential Love. So look out for uh, more information about that. And once you've tried them, pop over to our Facebook group or leave a comment. Uh, our Facebook group is Well Body Living, um, or you can leave a comment here and or a question, and I will get them all answered for you. I hope you like it.